Our galaxy, the Milky Way, counts billions of stars rotating around its center. It is a huge galactic merry-go-round, but it's not only the stars that are moving around in it. There are also nebulous spots, or nebulae. They are practically invisible to the naked eye. Only some of these celestial bodies, the brightest ones, can be seen. It's quite a different matter, however, if we look at the starry sky through a telescope. What will we see there? Today, we're not going to talk either about black holes or big bangs or even galaxies. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the closest and largest neighbors of the solar system. Let's get to it. Things concealed by the stars nearest to us will attract scientists, amateur astronomers and science fiction writers from the Earth for decades, if not centuries to come. Ways to gauge the magnitude of the universe differ from each other, but it is generally true to assume that the solar system stretches in all directions as far as one light year from the Sun. Beyond that frontier, just a few light years away from the Earth, there are the stars closest to us. The closest out of the 200 billion of those in the Milky Way. Every star is an exploding hydrogen ball resembling our Sun. And each of them is unique. The Sun, the basis of our system, is the closest star to the Earth. Unlike other stars, it is clearly visible in broad daylight. As for other celestial bodies in the infinite space, they can be seen in the night time. However, stars differ in terms of their real brightness. Scientists have defined the closest celestial bodies within the radius of 16 light years. 57 stellar systems have been pinpointed but only seven of them can be seen in the sky without any optical assistance. These are Sirius, Alpha Centauri, Epsilon Eridana, Procyon, Epsilon Indi, Tau Ceti, and 61 Cygni. Some of them are not just solitary bodies, but binary or triple stars, so the overall number of these celestial bodies reaches 64. Thirteen brown dwarf stars are also included in the list. They are considerably lighter than the other bodies. Proxima Centauri is our closest neighbor of all, which is 500 times less bright than the Sun. It is one of those secretive ones that are invisible to the naked eye. That could be the reason why this object was discovered only in 1915. It is the third and actually smallest stellar component in the Alpha Centauri system. In contrast to the Sun, which finds its way around the galaxy on its own, Proxima Centauri is locked in its orbit, stretching for one million years around the two other stars. This couple, known as Alpha Centauri A and B, is perceived as one star by the observer on the Earth who isn't employing telescopes or binoculars. Besides, it's the brightest stellar system in the sky. Both stars in the system resemble the Sun much more than Proxima itself. Proxima's color is completely different from that of the Sun because this star is much colder, 2700 degrees Celsius as opposed to 5,500 degrees on the Sun. Alpha Centauri A is one and a half times brighter than the Sun and their surface temperature is almost identical. In contrast, Alpha Centauri B is two times weaker than the Sun and about 500 degrees colder. Interestingly, in August 2016, scientists announced the discovery of a planet the size of the Earth going around Proxima Centauri. This new object, known as Proxima b, is about 1.3 Earth masses, 
which according to scientists may mean that this exoplanet is a rocky world. Its location in relation to the star makes it habitable. It is the correct distance away from the star for water to accumulate on its surface. Proxima b is 7.5 million kilometers away from its star and it is likely that it's blocked. That is, it faces the star by one and the same side. Just like the moon, which shows the Earth only one of its parts. By the same token, it's worth mentioning that according to scientific estimates, it would take a spaceship from the Earth about 70,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri. However, with the data received with modern telescopes, it is still not clear whether Proxima b may be habitable. Speaking about the next of our closest stars, it's another red dwarf, Barnard's star, which unfortunately isn't clearly visible either. However, it is the fourth nearest star after Wolf and Larland and is located in a completely different direction, namely in the constellation of Ophiuchus and 1.7 light years further than Proxima. This little star is considerably smaller than the Sun, being only 0.17 of its mass and diameter. In fact, it was discovered comparatively recently, even though it's the fastest moving star in the sky, crossing the distance equal to the diameter of the full moon in 180 years. The flying Barnard is notable for its rapidity of movement. It moves towards the Sun and eventually it is going to be closer to us than Proxima Centauri. The color of the star is the direct indicator of the temperature on its surface, just like a metal rod, which when heated first turns red, then orange, after that yellow, then white, and finally blue. For decades, Californian scientists have been making great efforts to discover planets in the vicinity of Barnard's star, but so far there are no data as to their existence. Here is another cluster of brown dwarves, the constellation of Vela, or Sails, located in the southern hemisphere. This constellation is our second closest star after the Sun. Interestingly, it is difficult to observe from the territory of Eurasia. You can see only part of it in the southern regions of Russia, and the more to the south you are, the higher the chances to observe the constellation. By the way, the best conditions for observing at least some parts of it are in February. Speaking about the stars of this constellation, the brightest one should be mentioned first, Gamma Velorum. It is also nicknamed the spectral gem of southern skies for its rays, which boast incredibly bright emission lines as opposed to dark absorption lines, which are generally more common. That is the reason for the rather exotic spectrum of the Gamma star. 800 light years away from us, this star is the second largest in the constellation and is made up of at least six components. Also, Gamma 2 Velorum is also generally considered rather bright. It includes several stars, one of which belongs to the wolf Rayet set of stars. But these aren't all the massive bodies in the Vela constellation. For example, the mass of the Lumen 16 system is 30 Jupiter masses, with its brightness flaring up and fading from time to time. It is almost seven light years away from us. At the same time, the mass of another component of Lumen 16 equals 50 Jupiter masses. This binary stellar system was discovered comparatively recently, in 2013, while no celestial bodies or exoplanets have been discovered in its vicinity. We really love and appreciate our audience, that is you, dear viewers, that's why we try to provide exciting content worthy of your attention. It is thanks to you that we improve and carry on in our spaceship. 
Your views are the best motivation for us to create more videos about stunning facts about the infinite universe. So, we'll be on cloud 9 when we see your like under this video and a comment with some fascinating and unconventional ideas you'd like to check out in our next video. See you later, dear friends.